Welcome to great online training series on pharmacovigilance interview questions and answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as pharmacovigilance trainer for great online training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In this video, we are going to prepare on the possible interview question regarding adverse drug reaction and adverse events. You must have already studied about adverse events and adverse drug reactions in your graduation or post graduation. Since pharmacovigilance deals with the with this adverse event and adverse drug reactions. So this will be the favorite question for interviewers to ask about. And when you are answering to this question, you need to give the definition of these terms and also you need to add the causality statement and you need to provide few examples of these reactions. And based on your answer, the next interviews can ask the next question about the differences between this adverse event and adverse drug reaction. So you need to be prepared for that answer as well. So first we will see what is adverse event. So adverse event is defined as any untoward medical occurrence in a patient or the clinical trial subject administered a medicinal product and which does not necessarily have to have a causal relationship with the treatment. So adverse event is any event that happened to the patient after receiving the medication irrespective of the causal relationship. So adverse event can be a medication error or it can be any drug interactions. So it is not not necessary to have a causal relationship with the treatment. And the coming to the adverse drug reaction. So the WHO has defined adverse drug reaction as a response to a drug which is noxious and unintended and which occurs at the doses normally used in the man for the prophylaxis diagnosis or therapy of the disease or for the modification of the physiological function. And the response in this context means there is a causal relationship between the medicinal product and an adverse and, and an adverse event and is at least a reasonable possibility. So this is what you have to explain them about the adverse drug reaction and you need to include few examples like a person taking a drug to reduce the high BP may feel dizzy or the lightheaded if the drug reduces blood pressure too much. And also a person with a diabetes may develop adverse drug reactions of weakness, sweating, nausea and palpitations if insulin or another antibiotic drug reduces the blood sugar level too much. And also few medications can cause teratogenic effects like thalidomide which can cause the focomelia or cardiovascular diseases associated with the COX-2 inhibitors like Vioxx. And few medications can cause anaphylactic reactions like the penicillins can cause the allergies. So these are the few examples of adverse drug reactions which you can include in your answer. So based on this answer, the interview will ask you about the difference between the adverse drug event and the adverse drug reaction. So in all the cases, the adverse drug reactions are adverse drug events, but not all the adverse drug events are adverse drug reactions. Because for an adverse event, there is no need to have a causal relationship. But for adverse drug reaction, a causality connection between the drug and event is suspected. So that is the major difference between adverse drug event and adverse drug reaction. So that is how you have to answer for this question. Hope you like this video and if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. We can respond back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.